All right, so check this out. If uh, we have something heavy on our scale and we tear it, which is, well, right now, because it's at a high negative number, they're both obvious that it's in the negatives. Um, and here, watch. But let's say you're not, yeah, so the negative is all the way, it stays static all the way on the left. So if you have something like earlier today, I had something that was like negative eight. When it was like negative eight, here, let's see, let's see if I can get that back, <laughs> 100 exactly. Um, yeah, so it's like a big distance if it's in the single digit. I wonder how it would be if I had it on less precise mode. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll test that. Uh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Minus 100, exactly. That was the um, Zerno Cups weight minus the Happy Tamper. Uh, so on this one, watch what happens as I reduce. Yeah, see the negative sign stays right. Even if it's at single digits, it's right beside it. So it's obvious when you're in the negative. Um, here, here, actually I'm gonna get you a better. Whoops, all right, let's see. Damn it, I can't get the uh, weight to be just what I want. Whatever. Um, I know, maybe this cup. Nope, oh, still too light. But you can see, even in like the 46, the, uh, yeah. So, even with this, I mean, it's a little, a little more crowded, I guess. There, it looks good. But here it's like, you know, it's all the way over there. Especially when you're at like negative two. It's like you might think it's at two grams and not realize it's not teared properly. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I got confused for like a millisecond because uh, I didn't notice it was in the negatives. I'll see if that changes. Uh, let me change the precise, the precision mode, so we don't have the 0.26, which is pretty much useless. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's useless. I guess I've been using it this way, but I don't know how accurate it is. But I guess a little more accurate, so you get to know what that 0.5 is, rather than it having it, you know, rounded up or down. There we go. So, even with it on less precise mode. Um, we have it actually I think it got worse because now that 1.4 is all the way on the other side um, I mean the negative is all the way on the other side so let's see oh I don't have the mode that doesn't have the timer so I wonder if that's any different probably not well, let's try that it's funny because they finally they finally moved the negative but they moved it in the wrong direction so ideally should be static where I mean yeah static where it moves dynamic it should be dynamic where it moves as necessary like this rather than having it sit like it's possible as the display should be able to do it uh, so maybe something with a future firmware. I just updated the firmware to the latest uh, one. Um, so that's not the answer. And uh, yeah, it's nothing to do with the mode. I hate how you have to hold down the mode button to switch on the Jimmy. Boom, boom. Different modes, different modes. This one, I want to get to the fourth mode. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down like yeah and if you have 
there's seven modes in total now. So if we want to switch from like the first mode to the seventh mode, um, yeah, workflow, not ideal. Definitely want more than one scale for that.